Good morning, my fellow subscribers, my fellow viewers, audience. Well, seems like my selfie stick is moving on its own. <laughs> Pardon me, my bad. Anyway, today's topic we will cover uh, are the skill sets. Uh, recover it, re retouch it, or refresh, call it refresh. Let's say refresh. This is the right tool for right job by Nur Ali. Uh, we all are in the same boat. You can say that. If you are a tradesman, if you are a crafter, if you are career minded, and uh, if you are, what you call it? <sighs> Contractor, consultant, freelancer. Each and every one of us either non-IT or IT. IT stands for information system, IS for, uh, IT is for information technology, IS is information systems. Key things. It really doesn't make a difference if you're a help desk, desktop support, field engineer, admin, DevOps, uh, DR, which is disaster recovery, C, CR or C for change request or change management, CM or project manager, or project lead, uh, whatever the position is, whatever the aim is, whatever the goals are, okay? Uh, put everything aside. In today's economy, which is moving fast, technology is moving fast, AI is moving fast, cloud computing is moving fast, automation is moving fast, catching up, staying with it, it's getting harder and harder. I feel it, but I'm still in it, right? Uh, you need to be tech savvy, you need to work very hard and very smart, right? So today we will talk about the following skill sets. Here, look. Uh, these are two things are divided. When you look for job interviews, either you're working for yourself or you're freelancer. Uh, this is the world we live in. I kid you not. There is no joke. Accept changes and adapts easily. Learns quickly. Multitasker. Good temperament, patient, empathetic. Problem solver. Customer service approach. There are two content which I uploaded before. One is with the selfie stick that known as customer loyalty is part two. Before that, I uploaded another content was based on customer loyalty so it touches right here so this becomes a part three in a way right accepts personal accountability self-motivated team player follows policy procedures and guidelines continue continually improves calms under pressure can you take stress can you take pressure all right in a high moving complex high-tech world when you're part of a big team or when you become a lead, when you are leading people, that's where it's needed, right? And communication skill. Uh, if you review my content as a customer loyalty uh, and the selfie sticks, there is a communication part of it. You need to review, listen to both of them. Then you will understand communication skills. Listening, writing, Verbal, non-verbal, and questioning. Asking the right questions. Okay? Even if you have a senior manager, director, your team, after you do your review, you need to ask the right questions. If you don't ask the right questions, you will not get the right answer. Then you're going to have... You're going to sit idle. You're going to waste your time. You're going to waste their time. And you won't be able to resolve any issues, right? Customer service. Okay, if you're in IT and you've been in IT, if you've been in retail, you have been in uh, wholesale, you've been in any kind of distribution, you have sold computers on the phone, face-to-face, -face, you've been a sales rep inside or outside. Customer service. Customer service is the heart and soul of any business. Review my content, customer loyalty, you will understand customer service, okay? The whole world, whole world, 
from the big 10 IT firms to the small 10 IT firms, consulting companies all over the globe are after what? Customers. No customers, no sales, no revenue. Bottom line, customer service. Remember that. Never forget that for the rest of your life. You cannot treat your customer right. You don't give them the right price. <laughs> you won't have a customer. You're going to end up closing your doors, closing your shop. Lights out. You're gone. Remember that. Don't forget that. Troubleshooting. You need to be a troubleshooter. Okay? Troubleshooting is very important. Very, very important skill set to have to understand. Reading instruction sets, reading information, reviewing all the documentation in order to solve a problem. That's where problem solving comes from. In today's age and day, where AI is taking place, where cloud computing is taking place, where automation is taking place. Troubleshooting and problem solving will become very important. Very important. Okay? Now, move on to IT skills. Increase first numbers of incidents and service requests resolved. Uh, the more tickets you close, more incidents you close, the better your performance is if you're a full-time employee. If you're a contractor or consultant, then you got to deliver everything on time, which includes closing your tickets, your JIRA storyboard, or whatever. How are they assign it to you? Through Remedy, through ServiceNow, through JIRA, whatever the case is, right? Those who are in the industry, they know what I'm talking about, okay? Potential to restore service faster. What that means is there's an outage. If you have the access, you're a network engineer or firewall engineer or DevOps guy, log into the server, fix the bug, and move on. That's what that means. Potential to restore service faster. The potential to improve customer satisfaction. There are many companies out there spend millions and billions of dollars tracking their customer satisfaction. It goes back to customer service, right? You don't have a customer, <laughs> you got no sales, you got no revenue. There you go. Customer satisfaction. There are internal customers, there are external and external customers. I can be somebody's customer. Somebody can be my customer. It goes both ways. Okay? It goes both ways. Provides an opportunity to analysts to educate customers to be more self-sufficient. We need to educate our customers, right? Somebody who's not willing to educate me on the process, then they're not doing their job. Simple, right? Uh, like I said, there are many people out there. There's a lack of English command or they cannot communicate in English. They having a gap or they're having an issue to communicate and educate their customers, all right? They need to learn how to educate their customers for better results and better outcome, and better sales and better revenue. It's simple as that. Time management. Time management is the key. Attend all meetings, do your weekly timesheet, submit all your reports, do your documentation. Time management, okay? Even you're working hybrid, even you're working 100% remote, get up on time. Log in on time. Do anything, do everything what your director or manager has assigned to you on time. Okay? Document it. Know your blocks. Know your gaps. Very important to understand. Very important to know. Okay? Uh, what I'm saying is, is what I'm saying, what I'm teaching, what I'm refreshing for myself also right? And for those who want to learn, those who want to achieve, those who want to accomplish something good, tangible, that you can take with you for the rest of your life, right? I'm speaking out of experience. Personal organizational skills, advanced IT skills, remote support, instant messaging, email and chat. Today's world, we are doing all our work through what? Zoom, Teams, Slack, and other chat channels within the corporate America. So you know how to upload, you got to know how to download, you got to know how to share, and you got to know the ethics, etiquettes of communicating within chat and within email. 
It takes a long, long time to master that skill set. Long, long time. And you need to know your own boundaries, space. Within corporate America, how to do email, how to do chat communication and instant messaging. Okay. Respect it and do it correctly. Otherwise, you're going to lose your job. Now, this is the most important part right here. This is called Technical Performance Lookout. Now, I'm in technology. My performance is based on how much I deliver and how I deliver. Diligently, with a good attitude, with a smile on my face. That's it. Restores a customer's technology to a functional state. We, I've been through that all my car, uh, career, through 30 years, right? Working on somebody's laptop, better, better return it the way it was after the parts are replaced. Working on a server in a data center, <laughs> you better return it to the state the way it was before after replacing a part or doing a config. Overcoming communication barriers. Very important to know, very important to understand. What are your barriers? What are your blocks? What are your gaps? What do you lack? Ask yourself that at all times. Do your own reviews. Do your own self-study. If you're a self-learner, download the information on your own. Spend some time. Spend some time learning yourself, right? Then you can educate. Then you can say, hey, I need this. I need that to your direct supervisor, direct manager, or direct director. Maybe an access issue. Maybe a, a documentation issue. You need to know that. If you don't know it, you're going to lose time. Time is money. Okay? Now, improves first contact resolution rate. Okay? And enhances customer and service desk relationship. So, if you are a, a lead, right? You have a, a, a manager above you. Then you have a bunch of team people. Junior programmers, developers, senior programmer, developers, business system analyst, right? And you're going to act like a gear, all right? A gear. That's where enhanced the customer service desk relationship comes in, okay? You're not a desktop support. You're not a helpless guy or a gal. You are above, but still part of a group, part of the gear system, right? Act professionally, have a great attitude, have a smile on your face, do your work, deliver on time. F improves first contact resolution rate. What that means, if you get an incident ticket, if you get a trouble ticket, you have a problem ticket, this is all I ITIL, right? Resolve it on time. Resolve it on time. If something you don't have, access, information, then Escalate it to your direct supervisor or manager. You need to learn and master that step, right? If you have not learned or mastered that step, if you don't escalate it, you won't get the access, you won't get the information, you won't be able to do your task or assignment or JIRA story, okay? Reduce the loss customer productivity by reducing the time of resolution. Very important, very important, very important. Most important thing is reducing the time because if you reduce the time and you resolve it in time, you're saving company money, okay? If you've been trained in the past in your career by HP, that is Hewlett Packard, by IBM, International Business Machine, and by Dell Services, okay? Uh, and of course, there are other companies, if you've been in IT, there are other companies who teach you in the art of customer satisfaction. What I'm sharing with you, what I'm refreshing with you today, that is the art of customer satisfaction. Okay, that goes back to my previous content, customer loyalty. How to keep it, how to keep them engaged, how to keep them bringing back to your door, to your store. Remember, no customer... <laughs> No dollar, no sales revenue, you can't hire nobody, you gotta close, you can't pay the rent, can't, can't pay your bills, you gotta close your shop. 
Retain your customer. Retain that money coming in. Don't get greedy. You get greedy, you're going to lose your customer. Remember that. Don't get greedy. Do not get greedy, right? So think like that. If a customer is willing to pay you a dollar a day for your service, dollar a day, in, in five days or seven days in a week, it's seven dollars, right? Multiply by, if there are 30 days in a month, the $30 coming to your store, coming into your wallet, right? And if you go back to your customer and say, hey, man, inflation is too high. And I, I don't want $30. I'm giving an example, right? I want more. You get greedy. And guess what? When the customer knows the rate of your work, the quality of your work, and he was satisfied, he has other people he can shop around for, right? If you're a freelancer or a contractor. Keep that in mind. Very important. Very, very important, my friends, my brothers and sisters. If you are a freelancer or a contractor in, in, in Sri Lanka, in Bangladesh, in India, with all due respect, it could be any part of the world, understand the value of the customer. Customer experience is very emphasis on it. Your livelihood is, is based on it. Your butter and bread. Okay, is based on the earnings that you earn from the customer who brings, gives you the money for your service. Okay, I will emphasize that. I will focus on that part today. It's very important. Very, very important. Many people get greedy. You know, freelancers, uh, contractors, especially freelancers. You know, everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants you to hire them. But then they get greedy, right? They get greedy, right? Greed is not going to bring you business. No, sir. No. You need to have, you need to know where you are, okay? You need to know. Now, everybody claims they have experience. They have masters. They are experts. Now, if they have not spent 30 years, 20 years, or 15 years, you become a master if you put in 30 years of life in a product or an application, or a database, right? <laughs> you cannot call yourself an expert if you're in your 19, if you're in your 20s, and you've been doing it for a couple of years. Don't say that. Don't false market yourself into the freelance world. Don't do that. It will get You will get caught. You will get caught very quickly, very quickly, with all due respect. Girls, boys, men and women, Folks, okay, don't over deliver, don't under deliver, don't over promise, deliver on time, don't oversell yourself, don't oversell your experience, it won't work, it will not, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fail, right? It's gonna hit you right on the face with all the respect. Be honest, be ethical, okay? Be honest, be ethical. That is my lesson. That is my wisdom. Anybody who listens to my channel, right? This is going to help you gain more customers. This is going to help you gain more sales, right? Know where you are. Know how much you want to make. And stick to that guideline. Don't get greedy. You're going to keep that money coming in, right? The day you get greedy, guess what? The customer is going to pull back. He's going to go somewhere else. And you just lost the customer. You just lost your revenue and your sales. You see how simple it is? That's the wisdom that's going to save you, make you better for the rest of your life. It really doesn't make a difference if it's technical world or non-technical world. Remember that forever. Like I said, share, learn, teach, and grow. If you like it, subscribe it. As always. I'm grateful to all my subscribers, viewers, and audience. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Till next time.